BBC Four Kids is proud to present the Psalms. Psalm 1 Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm 1 is about a righteous man and shows us how he lives compared to a wicked man. The psalm starts with talking about how the righteous man is blessed because of the things that he doesn't do. He does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, which means that he makes sure that he is following the directions of God and not of ungodly people. He also does not stand in the path of the sinner, meaning that he doesn't follow sinners in the ways they like to go. The sinners walk a different path than he walks. The third thing that he does not do is sit in the seat of scoffers. The scoffers are people who criticize God and his people, and the righteous man will not sit with them or join them. Instead, the righteous man delights in the law of the Lord and spends his time thinking about God's word all day and night. Verse 3 describes how the righteous man will be planted like a tree by a river that grows fruit and will prosper in whatever he does. A tree planted by a river is healthy because it always has the water that it needs to grow, and God's word is the water to the righteous man that gives him strength to live for God and produce spiritual fruit. Verse 4 says that the ungodly are not like that. They are like chaff, which is the useless part of wheat that is taken off when wheat is harvested and then just thrown away. They do not have good roots like the tree does and so are not strong and healthy like the tree. These people will not share the same future as the righteous because the righteous have God to protect and preserve them. A tree which is righteous lasts a lot longer than the chaff that will just blow away in the wind. So it is also that the righteous will have eternal life with God, but the wicked will be judged. Psalm Songs with the Psalm Song Guy. about it with Pastor Daniel. So how can we live a righteous life? According to Psalm 1, there are four ways. First, we should not walk in the counsel of the wicked. There are lots of people who have ideas about what's right and what's wrong, but if they aren't getting those ideas from God's word, well, then we need to not live by those ideas. Second, we shouldn't stand in the way of sinners. 
that doesn't mean like not standing in their path as they're walking by. What it means is we shouldn't follow them in the ways that they live their life. If you know that your friends always do wrong things when they, I don't know, go out behind the school or when their parents are at home, well then don't follow in those ways. Don't be a part of what they're doing and don't go to those places. Don't be in their way the ways that they go when they sit. Thirdly, we shouldn't sit in the seat of scoffers. Like the dude said, scoffers are the people who mock God or mock his followers and we shouldn't be a part of anything like that. And lastly, we should delight in the word of God. Instead of listening to the advice of the wicked, well, we should read God's word and listen to the advice that God, the righteous one, has for us there how to live our life. Instead of following in the paths of sin, we should look to the Bible and follow what it says are the paths of righteousness. Instead of mocking God and his followers, we should learn more about all that God has done for us and then praise him by reading the scriptures. The end result of life for the righteous and the wicked, well, it's pretty clear according to this psalm. One prospers and succeeds and has God's blessing. The other, well, they're blown away and they're tossed and turned by the winds of life and ultimately they perish. So today, I want you to think about what kind of fruit should you be producing? If we're living righteous lives, we should be producing fruit, spiritual fruit. So maybe go read Galatians 5, 22 to 23, or go rewatch some of our videos on the fruit of the Spirit, and then pray that God would help you to live a righteous life. Thanks for watching FFBC for Kids. Join us next time as we take another look into the book of Psalms. We'll see you then. Bye!